hell are you doing in my kitchen? Oh, you want to talk about, ah, you're having problems with the camel back. Gotcha. Everybody loves these hydration pouches. This one's an Osprey, but basically Camelback. They were like the original type guys. Um, they're awesome. They're super convenient. You throw them in your pack. You got the hose that comes out. You bite down. You drink. Hands free. It's in the back so you don't have to carry it around like a bottle on your uh, pack or anything like that. So super convenient. What's not super convenient is cleaning them. Um, mold, mildew, different stuff like that can start forming in the bags if they're not cleaned and dried out properly, uh, as well as the hose. So I'm going to show you what I do to keep it in tip-top shape, uh, and I do it every single time I'm done. So once I've finished up a trip, basically I will rinse everything out, uh, give it some hot water, Spray it in there, mush it up, dump it out. I've heard that people use a little bit of hydrogen, perox uh, hydrogen peroxide. Sometimes they use a little bit of a bleach solution to make sure they kill everything, uh, any bacteria or anything that's in there. Uh, those all work, uh, but I usually don't do those. I don't know, I just got a funny little mental thing about it, um, just with chemicals. I'm weird like that, it's probably perfectly fine, but I'm gonna show you what I do. I rinse it out, hot water, push it around, dump it out, right? Then I run some hot water down the tube, same thing, I will, or I will hold the bag of hot water, pinch it, kind of have it like a drip, uh, then it'll shoot out, kind of just gets that one little last rinse. Mouthpiece here comes off, I will take out the mouthpiece, I will take out uh, the little stopper that's in there and just separate those, put those on a paper towel. Uh, this will still have some liquid in it. So it's got a quick disconnect here. There, just press it, quick disconnect. And what I will do is just blow through it and then I'll give it a whirl And I'll do this for oh, a minute or two and just use all the force to get the last little droplets of water out of there. And I'll look down, I'll be like, all right, cool. You'll still see like some tiny remnant. You're not gonna get every single piece of moisture out of there, but you just wanna get enough to where it can dry without causing mildew, okay? Put that down. Next, we've got this piece here, I'll do a similar thing. Where I'll just give it a give it a quick whip around, and then you have the bag. So the bag, unfortunately, part of the problem is it stays super flat. Obviously, it's low profile, so that's kind of what they want. However, it makes drying it out kind of a pain. You got to kind of turn the lips of it like that. And what I use is just a simple old paper towel uh, roll and just drop it in the middle and it goes all the way to the back and just stays open like that and just lets air flow through. I'll put a little mini fan, a USB powered fan right in front of it. It's just constantly blowing air into it and cleans it out and keeps it mildew free. If you have a way that you do it, you put it put down in the comments. Maybe I'm doing some extra steps, or maybe I can change my game up for a better way. That's the way I do it. Let me know how you do it. If you like the videos, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give me a thumbs down. Write in the comments why you thought it sucked, or just hate on me, whatever you want to do. That's cool too. Uh, and I will see you next time.